Hey guys, and welcome to this video on max or maximum heaps. So here we're given a problem. We're given a max heap in green to the right here. And we want to delete the node that contains the value 10, which is right there at the root of the tree. Now to the left in the blue rectangle, we have the algorithm or steps that we're going to use to delete this node from the binary heap tree. And so let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing that we want to do is step one, where we delete the node that contains the value 10 in the tree. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we're deleting the node that contains the value 10. Now in step two, we want to replace the deleted node with the furthest right node. So that's the node that's furthest down and to the right. In this case, it's the node that contains the value seven. So let's go ahead and replace the root node with the node that contains the value seven. And of course, we're gonna get rid of that node down below. All right. Now we go to step three and we heapify or fix the heap. So we first check that the heap property holds true. In this case of a max heap, the heap property is such that the parent node, that its value is greater than or equal to its children's values. So we check to see if seven is greater than both its children, which is the node that contains the value eight and the node that contains the value nine. Since seven is less than its children, we need to go to the next case where we check to see if the replacement node, which is the node that contains the value seven, if its value is greater than or equal to its parent, then we're gonna swap that node with its parent. And uh, because seven is in the root node, it doesn't have a parent. So we're gonna go to the next case where we swap the replacement node with the largest child node value. And then we're gonna repeat step three. So in this case, the node that contains the value seven has two children, the node that contains eight and nine, and the one that has the larger value is the node that contains the value nine. So we're going to swap the seven and the nine. Okay. So nine and seven. All right, now we check to see if the heap property holds true. Well, nine is greater than both its children, eight and seven. And of course, eight is still greater than its two children and seven doesn't have any children. So our heap property holds true and we are done. So thank you guys, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos on computer science and discrete math topics as well as mathematics topics in general. And if you found this video helpful, please share it. Maybe others will find it helpful as well. And as always, guys, thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video.